and inclusion today. Um, so yes, so my name is Alexandra Minor, but most people call me Allie, and my preferred pronouns are she, her, and hers. Now, so <clears throat> I'm just getting used to um, the way I have to use use my speaker notes. So if you just could be patient with that, I appreciate it. Okay, so. Everybody is different and we all want different things. Um, if you're like me, um, I always want ice cream as a treat after dinner. But if you're not like me, you might like chips or something different after dinner as a treat. Okay, but there's one thing that I'm almost certain everybody wants and that's to feel safe, accepted and feeling like you belong, okay? And sometimes that doesn't always happen, unfortunately. And people um, won't be friends with, with you or with other people um, because, of, because they're different. Um, and that's called discrimination, okay? So um, some examples I'll show you. So sometimes you can be discriminated against by your age, um, by the color of your skin or your race. Um, if you're a girl or a boy, uh, abilities and disabilities, religion, uh, how much money you have. Um, and there's some, you know, some people, they, they're born a boy or a girl and they choose to change and they feel more comfortable as the opposite gender and they're discriminated against because of that or because of them wanting to marry the person that they love and that happens to be somebody who is the same gender as them. So if we choose to not be friends or not be nice to those people um, because they're different than you, that's called discrimination. And discrimination isn't a good thing. Okay, so, um, so what is discrimination? Just as a quick um, Sorry. Just as a quick um, definition, discrimination is treating people badly based on things that somebody can't control, okay? So that's the definition of discrimination. And what is diversity? So diversity in a simple, a simple definition, it just means different. So as you can see here, um, these, these people or these children, there's lots of different things about them, okay? So you'll see here this boy, he's wearing glasses and the other girls and boys or people, they don't have glasses, that's something different about him, that's diverse. Um, this person's wearing a headscarf and the rest of them aren't. And you can see that there are people from different, maybe they're different religions, they have different skin colors, um, this person, I can't even actually tell if this person's a girl or a boy. So that's something that's different about this person than the rest. So that's some examples of diversity, okay? And diversity is good. Um, and just because people are different um, on the outside or on, about things like religion doesn't mean you can't find other topics and interests can become friends and build relationships with people that are different than you. But sometimes it means, you know, that you get to know the person and you still don't have anything in common. Um, but it doesn't mean you should be mean to them or act badly towards them. It's, you just accept everybody for who they are. You get to know them as a person. And if you click and you feel like you can be friends with them, great. If not, you can still be nice to them, but maybe you're not best friends or you don't hang out outside of school, um, but you're still nice to them when you do see them. So now we talk about the word inclusion. Okay, so inclusion means playing with and talking to everyone, even if they're different than you. So basically what we just talked about. Okay, so now I, usually when I teach, I can see my students 
and their faces and how people are reacting. So I'm just going to take a quick peek and see. Okay, it looks like everybody has blocked their videos. Okay. So, so inclusion. So it looks here, everybody's playing together here, okay? And we have um, different things happening. So we have one boy and three girls. So sometimes girls will play together and they'll say, you know what, we don't want to play with a boy. If you're a boy, we're not going to play with you. But that's not what's happening here. They're not excluding the boy, they are including the boy. Okay, so they're being inclusive. They're all playing and they're having fun. And that's the same thing. There's lots of different other things happening here, just like in the other picture we looked at. This girl uses a wheelchair and these other people don't use a wheelchair. But that's not changing the fact that they're all having fun together. Okay, so you might be talking, uh, or sorry, you might be thinking about why this is important. Why is it something that somebody needs to present to us about? Okay, so unfortunately, the reason is because people treat other people differently because of these things. And you know, it may not be your fault that, that happens, but it is something that does happen, okay? So some of the things that we're going to talk about today um, are slavery, the Holocaust, SNMI, or people who are indigenous, LGBTQ plus community, um, Black Lives Matter, and feminism, okay? So those are the main ones. And Really, just so you all know, um, this is, all of these could have their own 30 minute presentation on their own. So I am, I've done my best to put important information in so that you know the basics, okay? Because I don't know what you already know. So I just want to give you the basics so that you can know how to be inclusive of everybody, okay? So, I'm just gonna grab a sip of water. Okay, so these are just a few things that we'll talk about. Okay, so first, we'll talk a little bit about slavery. So, again, just the basics, there's so much more important there's so many more important things to all of these topics. Um, and I encourage you to look into them and ask questions about them to myself and to the people around you all the time. Talking about these things is a good thing, okay? Um, so basically, um, white people, uh, my relatives essentially, could buy and sell people that are black and they used them as slaves and they abused them and and they thought the white people thought that because um, the people who were black or the people of color looked differently than them that they were somehow able to use them as slaves and not treat them the way they treat other people like other white people um, and i'm saying it in the the, the nicest way okay it, it's very it was very very bad Okay, so that happened. And, and then there was something called the Underground Railroad. And the, a lot of other things happened and there were, there were lots of things going on. But one thing is the Underground Railroad. So people, um, the people of color, the people who were slaves, they had to find a way to escape their masters or the people who were, who were using them as slaves. And they couldn't just leave whenever they wanted. So if you look in this picture, it's dark out because it's nighttime. And they had to escape. And they used this thing called the Underground Railroad, which wasn't an actual railroad road. And there wasn't any trains. Um, it was just a system that was mostly used at nighttime so that people could become free and they could get to places where they weren't so that they didn't have to be slaves and they could live however they wanted. So the so one way um, that 
I've seen, I went to a museum and they showed me that in something like this, people would actually lie in here and then this, um, the packages on top would go on top of the people and then they would, during the day, they could actually help them escape by, by going into these, um, the backs and, you know, the horses and the carriage, the horses would pull this. And that's one way that they could escape um, was that, okay? So like I said, a lot more to all of this, um, but we're going to move on to the next topic, okay? So now we have the Holocaust. So another, so this is, this is Adolf Hitler and Adolf Hitler used to be a leader of Germany. Um, and he believed that people who were Jewish, um, like he believed that something, that there was something wrong with them. He didn't think that they should exist in the world. And so obviously Adolf Hitler was wrong, but he had concentration camps where people would be treated like animals and they had to live in these types of um, conditions. See all these people, this is their bed. This is where they slept. They didn't get their own place to sleep. And do you see how skinny this person is? He didn't get to eat and, or at least not very much. And almost 6 million Jewish people died because of Hitler. So that's another way that discrimination happened in the past, okay? So um, this is just another example to see what has happened <clears throat> during that time. So um, this person is a Polish person and he was um, showing people in the world that under that, like inside of that hole, there were actually, I think, 14 Jewish people who were living there. Um, and this is his, his land, this Polish man's land. And he hid the Jewish people in there who had to live in there for weeks. Some people even had to live underground for years. And that's, you know, unfortunately, they had to hide in order to save their own lives and their families' lives, okay? Um, so, yeah, through all of this, it, including, including um, the Underground Railroad, which we looked at, so there were people who were white um, who did, or people who weren't, um, you know, people who, um, you know, were German or Polish, they, they did try to help people um, the people who were being harmed, but they had to do it in secret because this man, he could have been killed if, he, if people found out that he was helping the people who are Jewish, okay? I think it's the next topic. It is. Okay, so the next topic um, is FNMI. So that means First Nations, Métis, and Inuit, okay? Another way that you can um, talk about people who are part of this culture is by saying indigenous people or people who are indigenous. And um, if, if it's not, if you're not knowing what I'm talking about, so you might get an idea from the pictures, but people have also said um, in the past, people might say um, Indians or Indian Americans or Native Americans. Um, or Aboriginal people, but the majority don't like the, those names. Um, and what I was taught is that this is the most respectful and nice way to talk about people who are Indigenous by saying First Nations, Métis, and Inuit, FNMI, or Indigenous. And that's really important. When we're thinking about being inclusive, it's really important to use um, the right language, to use the right word that the person that you're talking about or the culture that you're talking about wants, okay? So that's why I just gave you that information. And so, um, as some of you might know, um, some European people, people from Europe, they were looking for a new world or they were out exploring and they came um, there was so this has happened in 
different places, but I, I mostly know about Canada. So this United States, Canada, Australia. Okay, so the, um, the Europeans, or they were white, they came to Canada. We'll just talk about Canada to keep it simple. They came to Canada and they saw that there was land and they didn't know that the indigenous people were already living there. So they decided this is our land. We're going to use it and do what we want with it. But then they realized that there was other people living there, but they were living in a different way than the Europeans were familiar with. But they said, we don't like the way you're living. We want you to live our way. So this is just a picture of a family, okay, of people who are indigenous. And um, so they, um, they were the, the children of, of indigenous people were sent to residential schools and they weren't allowed to speak any other language except for English and they were forced to learn all about what European the Europeans wanted okay Canada decided what they would learn they couldn't wear um, anything that they wanted from their culture they couldn't learn about their own culture they could only learn what these schools wanted them to learn about and they were also unfortunately abused during these like when they went to these schools as well so something another very sad thing that happened in the world that we live in um, but we do need to talk about it okay so a way that a way that inclusion could have happened was if they were allowed to practice their culture that would have been nice or if they weren't abused that would have been good or if they could have just stayed with their families that would have been the best of course okay so another uh, heavy topic is i said earlier the lgbtq community and often you'll see a little plus sign okay a little plus sign there these are the most basic terms when talking about this community and there are many many other terms this could you could have a whole series on this and all of these topics okay so the l stands for lesbian so that means when two girls um, want to date or marry each other okay and they don't it's a girl that doesn't want to date a boy they, they're not interested in boys Okay, uh, G is gay, so it's the same thing as lesbian, but it's for two men, okay? And actually, lesbians can also be gay, um, but, but gay men can't be lesbians. Okay, and the next is the B, and that's bisexual. So it's one person who likes boys and girls and will marry one of, or the other. They don't know who they'll marry, they're just going to figure it out when they fall in love. And it could be a boy, and it could be a girl. And then, oops, um, earlier I talked about, um, did I mention that? No, I didn't talk about that earlier. Um, oh, yes, I did, sorry. So there's transgender, so it's, um, for example, a boy who's born into a boy's body, but he doesn't feel like a he. He feels like he wants to wear dresses, and he wants to grow his hair out long and wear makeup, and that's okay. If that's what that person wants, then that's okay. So that's called transgender. And then we have Q for queer. And so that's all of this. Um, the word queer used to be a word that was mean towards this community of people, but they decided we're not going to let this, we're not going to let these people be mean to us. We're going to take that word back. And so now they use it. And some people don't like the word queer. So if you are not a part of this community, you probably shouldn't say the word queer unless you're educating people about it, okay? All right. So another one, um, when I get, you get into the pluses of this, is two-spirited, okay? 
I've seen two different definitions of two-spirited. The one that I learned was that it's an aboriginal, or excuse me, um, an indigenous, a person who is indigenous, and they're part of LGBTQ, okay? So they're two-spirited, so that means that they have both the LGBTQ and they're also indigenous, and that they're, they, just, they, they want to be considered, they say, the label I want is two-spirited, okay? But not every person that is average, or sorry, that is indigenous and um, gay or bisexual, they may not like that term, and that's okay too. But this is the majority, okay? So at the beginning of uh, my presentation, I talked to you and told you, my name is Allie, and my, per my preferred pronouns are she and her, okay? So sometimes you'll meet people and you won't know um, if they're a boy or a girl. Or maybe you think they're a boy and they're wearing girl clothes. And you'll say, okay, how do I talk to this person and use my words in a respectful way? Um, and there's some people who they either don't feel like a boy or a girl, or they don't know, hmm, do I feel more like a girl or do I feel more like a boy? So um, you would call, you would say they and them when you talk to people in that situation. If you didn't know or, um, and often you just have to ask. So if you were talking to somebody and you weren't sure, you'd just say, oh, hi, my name's Allie. My preferred pronoun are she and her. What's your name? And if you lead with that, they will also say the same thing. They'll say my preferred pronouns and they'll tell you how to refer to them. Okay? Okay, so that's the end of this topic and we're gonna jump right into something else, okay? So it goes back to when we were talking about um, slavery. So now I'm sure all of you have seen um, Black Lives Matter, BLM. And this is really important. So if you think back to slavery, they were being, being made to be slaves. And now they have, they, they have freedom in a different way than they did before. Okay. But there's still a lot going on in their lives that is, um, sorry, they're still not having all of the same rights that they should. Um, so it's easier, let's say, for myself, if I got pulled over by a police officer, I wouldn't have to be worried. I wouldn't say, okay, make sure I have my cell phone out so that I can, you know, videotape what happened. I don't have to fear the same way that a person who is black would have to fear. Um, and so that's a problem that they're still being treated badly. Okay, so that's a very small example um, or explanation as to what, what Black Lives Matter is about. Okay, um, so something else that is important is to remember that with all of these topics, they intertwine with each other, okay? So I thought this was a good picture because it's saying that Black people, okay, Black lives matter, yes, but there's Black trans people that their lives matter, okay? Queer, lesbian, gay, bisexual, all, if they, they're Black and they're part of the LGBTQ. So they're being discriminated for two different ways, in two different ways. And I think people forget that sometimes. And same with black disabled lives matter. That's another thing. They could be black and have a disability. So there's two barriers. There's two things stopping them from having the easiest life as possible, okay? So what they're saying is that every black lives matters, not just black straight lives, not just black, people who have abled bodies, who aren't disabled, everybody, okay? So another thing um, that we'll just quickly talk about um, 
is the women's, women's movement, the women's rights or um, feminism. So this is basically um, before my time and your time, um, women didn't have the same rights as men. And they had to do certain things like stay home and cook. And sometimes there was a time when they weren't even expected to work or get a job. Um, it was uncommon. And if they wanted to do that, they couldn't get uh, the same pay rate. They'd be getting, they'd be making less money. And with this, there was also a problem that um, it was a lot of white women who were fighting for their rights for women's rights. But then going back to how everything's intertwined, there was white women who were fighting for their rights, but they were not including black women or women who were from, let's say Mexico or um, different, different countries, different skin colors, any women of color. So that's another thing to think about was how that everything is intertwined and if we're going to fight for one person, we have to include everybody that, that's involved. We have to include everybody, okay? Okay, so now I just want to talk to you a little bit. Um, so this is Martin Luther King. He fought for black, black rights. Um, and it just says the time is always right to do what is right, okay? So, um, so we're getting close to the end, and I see that it's 1031 now. Um, I just like this quote because you don't have to do things in a really big way to stand up, but if you see something wrong, you have to do something. And you know, you can't say, oh, tomorrow. Well, you're still letting that thing happen, that's bad, okay? So it's always the right time to try to fix wrongs, even if they're other people's wrongs. Even if it's something that somebody else is doing, it's still our job to make sure that everybody feels comfortable and welcomed. Um, okay, so, okay, so there's just a few, <laughs> just two other things that I haven't quite touched on. Um, so there's class and disabilities, and these ones are just really, really quick. Um, again, these could all have um, their own, you know, classes. <laughs> You could talk hours and hours about all of these things and there's so much I'm not teaching you, okay? So that's really important to remember. So class, in a very simple, simple, simple way, you think about people who are homeless, okay? And you think about people who have a lot of money and they get treated better in the world. So if you were at McDonald's, <clears throat> and you videotaped how people treated um, people who looked like they had a lot of money and how and people that looked like they didn't have a lot of money, you would probably notice that the people with a lot of money were treated better than the people who didn't have a lot of money, okay? And that's a problem as well. And people with disabilities. So I think this picture is perfect to show um, a very small problem, but this person is being forgot about. People aren't thinking, oh, what if there's somebody here who's shorter than us or who can't stand up and see? Well, you need to remember that there's people who aren't in your situation, so just look around. Hmm, okay, I'm seeing this. That's good, I'm happy. Hmm, let me just think. Is there anybody who might be excluded from this, from this thing that I'm enjoying? Think about it, look around at the people around you. How can I make sure everybody is enjoying this the way that I'm enjoying this, okay? So that's, that's a disability that you can see. You can actually see that person see, okay, they're using a wheelchair, you can see that. Now, not every disability is visible. So you can't see every disability with your eyes, okay? Sometimes you can look at a person and you might know that you you may know if you if you know things about autism you may know that they have autism but sometimes you wouldn't um, I could have autism and you wouldn't know okay and same with learning disabilities 
you can look at a person and you wouldn't know that they have a learning disability. So that's why it's important to get to know people. So if you start talking to them and maybe you're using really big words, you have to, and so, oh, do you know what I mean? Like, do you understand that? And, you know, just talk to them and maybe they don't. Try to say things in a different way, okay? So it's just important to know that not every disability is visible. Okay, so now what can you do? What can I do? How can I help? How can I help this problem? Um, well, so I said before, you don't always have to speak up in a very direct way, but it could be, you know, if you see something and it was too quick for you to actually go and stop and stop it from happening, you could just say, hey, I saw that happen and it's not okay. I'm really sorry that happened to you. As easy as that. And that could make the biggest difference in somebody's life. It really could. Um, or you could just say, you could just say to somebody, you can't say that. So I was at somebody's house and, um, you know, not a lot of people like to be as vocal about these topics, but I was at somebody's house and so we talked about transgender people earlier and that person, so somebody that I, kn I knew said tranny and that word isn't okay to say. Um, and he said it very casually and I just looked at him and I said, you can't say that, that is not okay. And he laughed and he said, you're right. I'm really sorry, I can't say that. And it was fine and that was it. And he knew he did it and he knew he was wrong, but that's just sometimes what you have to do. Okay, all right. So another thing that we can do and to be inclusive, okay, is it's called people first language. So, so this, this little comic says, so they're apples. Um, it says, uh, we are not disabled apples. We are apples with disabilities. Okay, so sometimes it's hard to do this and not everybody agrees that it's necessary, but when we're talking about anybody, we, we should talk about them as a person before we talk about the fact that um, they have a different skin color or that they're a girl or that they have a disability, okay? They are not disabled, they have a disability. They're still a person, right? So that's another way is always talk about the, them as a person before something that they have attached to them as a person, okay? Um, yeah, so that's the last part I have for my slide. Um, so I guess it's question time. I have a question.